What is the deal, YouTube? Uh, what's the deal, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Tried to do a live stream, and my live stream did not work. I don't know why in the hell I'm having all of these problems uh, going on Google Plus or going on Google Hangouts. I hear that YouTube is going to be doing something new called YouTube Live. I can't wait for that to happen because for some reason I continuously have issues uh, with the um, hangouts so let's go over these stats real quick the game just ended we'll uh, completely analyze the stats of this first week um, the first game the first regular season game uh, Cam Newton 18 for 33 194 yards a touchdown and a pick uh, Trevor Simeon 18 of 26 178 yards one touchdown and two picks uh, both teams able to pretty much run the ball pretty well. Uh, C.J. Anderson running uh, 20 carries, 92 yards. Jonathan Stewart, 15 carries and 64 yards. Cam Newton handled the ball about 11 times, uh, 54 yards. Um, a few key pointers I want to point out. Uh, the first thing, Trevor Simeon really impressed with a few things that uh, that I saw tonight. Um, one, his accuracy. I saw him thread the needle several times, uh, whether it was between whether it was between uh, two defenders or um, rolling right, throwing left, or rolling left and throwing right. I was very, very impressed uh, with his accuracy. Um, I was also impressed with how he handled himself in the pocket, how composed he looked. He didn't look rattled or any of that shit, which you sometimes see um, from basically a rookie quarterback. The man took like one snap and kneeled um, the last last season, so he didn't play that much. Um, and the Broncos came out, and it looked like they threw to establish the run. I thought they were going to run the ball and then set up the uh, the pass off the play action. That's not what they did. They came out throwing the ball and allowing their young quarterback to fill himself into the pocket. And then they started running C.J. Anderson after they kind of uh, backed the defense up with the pass, which to me is kind of smart because when when if if a defense knows that you can't throw the ball, then they're going to stick eight in the box to stop the run. So uh, the offensive coordinator for the Denver Broncos came out. He threw the ball, backed the defense up, and then you started to see uh, more of C.J. Anderson. Um, some things have me confused in this game, though. I saw with my eyes, and um, I actually took an image of this, but I saw about five hits to the head on a quarterback. I've never in my life saw that many hits, helmet to helmet, to the head of an NFL quarterback go uncalled. And maybe it's just the first game of the season, but I and, and maybe it's the home field advantage in Denver. I don't know what it was, but five uncalled hits to the head. The last one they ended up calling. Uh, I think it was called on Chris Harris. So they called that, but it was offset by another. But I've never seen a quarterback th take that many hits to the – I've, ne I've never seen any player – damn damn that. I've never seen any player in the NFL take that many hits to the head and have none of it called, ever. They have made a point of, of stopping uh, – players from taking hits to the head. Of course, we know about the whole concussion syndrome and all of these effects. Players like Junior Seau um, ends up killing himself because of these things that you that happen, that, hap that go hand in hand with concussions. And they're supposed to be protecting the players. But when you see a guy take five hits to the head, most of them in the pocket, you go, what the fuck is these refs doing? But, yeah, um, I think the demise of the Broncos has been exaggerated. I can definitely see this team winning nine to ten games. I can see it because of, one, how good this defense is. They're going to pressure your quarterback. They've got three great cornerbacks in 
Akeem Talib, Chris Harris, and Roby. Um, DeMarcus Ware looked great, got two sacks in the nice game. Of course, Von Miller's Von Miller. But on offense, I think they – they I don't know what the ceiling is for the offense. I like the arm of the young quarterback. I think, you know, he I the one thing I want to see them work on from a fan's perspective, because I'm not a Broncos fan. Don't get it twisted. I don't, I don't like the Broncos. But every young quarterback, if you go back through time, and not just young quarterbacks, old quarterbacks as well, every single one of them that has a lot of success, they have a security blanket over the middle. Whether it's Jason Witten, Rob Gronkowski, um, Antonio Gates, Jimmy Graham, and the list goes on and on. They have to get him a young tight end over the middle. I think the move that they made to allow their, their tight end to go to Jacksonville will hurt the young uh, quarterback. That's the only problem that I have with that Denver offense. Anyway, man, oh, yeah, and the offensive line looked great as well. I saw some great blocking. I like the fullback uh, – Granowitz, I think his name is, ran the ball for a touchdown. I, I like a lot of things about that Denver offense. I just don't like the tight end situation. They need a big security blanket over the middle. That will help uh, the progressions of the young quarterback. Anyway, let me know how you feel about this. Sunday, I'm not going to be able to do an after-the-game broadcast. Um, I'll be at work until 9 o'clock, o'clock which is going to suck. feeling sick already anyway i'll talk to you guys next time make sure you subscribe to the channel hard hitting sports in your face peace